Dear viewers, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will see about Herb's point and its clinical anatomy. C5 nerve root, C6 nerve root, C5 and C6 nerve roots unite to form upper trunk of brachial plexus. The upper trunk divided into anterior division. and posterior division. I repeat, C5 nerve root, C6 nerve root, both C5 and C6 nerve roots unite to form upper trunk of brachial plexus. The upper trunk divided into anterior division. and posterior division this is anterior division of upper trunk posterior division of upper trunk there is a point in the upper trunk called herbs point in the herbs point there are six nerves meeting what are those six nerves c5 nerve root c6 nerve root anterior division of upper trunk, posterior division of upper trunk and there are two branches emerging from the upper trunk, nerve 2 subclavius, supra scapular nerve. All these six nerves meeting at herbs point. Any injury to the herbs point leads to herbs paralysis. Herbs palsy or herb duchenne palsy, the site of injury, upper trunk of brachial plexus. Causes of injury, induced separation of head from the shoulder, which is commonly seen in birth injury, fall on shoulder and during anesthesia. The nerve roots involved are C5 and C6. Muscles paralyzed are mainly biceps brachii, deltoid, brachialis, and brachioradialis and partly supraspinatus, infraspinatus and supinator. Deformity or position of the limb, arm hangs by the side, adducted and medially rotated. The forearm extended and pronated. This deformity is called as policeman's tip hand or porter's tip hand. Disability, the following movements are lost in herbs palsy. The abduction and lateral rotation of the arm, flexion and supination of the forearm, the biceps and supinator jerks are lost. The sensation is lost over a small area over the lower part of the deltoid. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe my channel. And don't forget to click the bell button to receive my updates.